indicate the same number of decimal places in our product. Good day learners! Today, I'm going to discuss one of the learning competencies for grade 7 mathematics, that is, solve money problems involving percentages. Let me start with a discount problem. Today, I prepared three problems. Let's have the first one. There was a sale at Toy Kingdom. A toy car which cost 3,500 pesos was reduced by 25%. Calculate what the customer paid. Okay, to answer this problem, of course, first thing we need to do is to identify the given. Okay, based on the problem, we have 3,500 pesos. This is the original price. Original price of the toy car. And we have 25%, which is the rate of discount. Okay, and to solve this, first step is we need to get the 25% of 3,500. Okay, to do that, we need to multiply 0. 0.25 by 3,500. So, why 0. 0.25? Because 0. 0.25 is the decimal form of 25%. So, remember to change... Deci uh, to change percent to decimal, we just move the decimal point twice to the left. And that's why 25% in decimal is 0. 0.25. Now, let's try to multiply this. 5 times 0 is 0. You mean, sorry for that. Okay. 5 times 0 is 0. 5 times 0 is 0. And 5 times 5 is 25. Carry up 2. So, 5 times 3 will give us 15 plus 2, we have 17. Next, multiply 2 to 0. That is 0. 2 times 0, 0. And 2 times 5 will give us 10. Carry up 1. Now, 2 times 3 is 6. Plus 1, that is 7. After this, we need to add the partial product. So, we have 0, 0, 5, 7, and 8. So, count the number of decimal places in our fra factor, 1, 2, and indicate the same number of decimal places in our product. So, that gives us 875 pesos. So, this 875 is the amount of discount. And to determine the... Amount paid by the customer, all we have to do is to subtract the amount of discount from the original price of the item. So that is 3,500 minus 875. So to subtract this, so 0 minus 5 is cannot be, so we need to borrow 1 from 0. But this is 0, so we need to borrow 1 from 5 here. This 5 will become 4, and this 0 will become 10. Now we can deduct, we can borrow 1 from this. So this 10 will become 9, and this will become 10. Now let's subtract. 10 minus 5 will give us 5. 9 minus 7 is 2. 4 minus 8 again is cannot be, so we need to borrow 1 from 3. So, this 3 will become 2, and this 4 will become 14. Now, 14 minus 8 will give us 6. Then, finally, bring down 2. So, the answer is 206, 2,000, I mean, 2,625. So, this is the amount paid by the customer, meaning the price of the toy car after the discount is the amount paid by the customer. Let's go now to problem number two. 
The price of a Barbie doll is 2500 There was a discount of 15% on the doll. How much is the discount? And how much did the doll cost after the discount? So again, to answer this problem, we need to identify first the given. Okay, based on the problem, we have 2500 This is our original price. The original price of the Barbie doll. And of course, the 15% here is the rate of discount. Yeah. So, to determine the amount of discount, all we have to do is multiply 2,500 by 0. 0.15, which is the decimal equivalent of 15%. So, that's 0. 0.15. Okay, so multiplying this, we have 5 times 0 is 0. 5 times 0 is 0. 5 times 5 is 25. So carry up 2. And 5 times 2 is 10. Plus 2, we have 12. Now, this time we will multiply 1 to 0. That is 0. 1 times 0 is 0. 1 times 5 is 5. And 1 times 2 is 2. So adding the partial products gives us 0, 0, 5, 7, and 3. So, count the number of decimal places again in our factors. 1, 2, and indicate the same number of decimal places in our product. So, that gives us 375. So, 375 here is the amount of discount. amount of discount or meaning this is 15% of 2500 and to determine the cost of dal after discount and then all we have to do is sub subtract we need to subtract 375 from the original price of the dal which is 2500 so 2500 now minus 375 this will give us, okay, 0 minus 5 is cannot be, so we need to borrow 1 from 0. But since this is 0, we, can we cannot borrow 1. So we need to borrow 1 from 5. This 5 will become 4, and this 0 will become 10. Again, now we can borrow 1 from this 10, and this will become 9. This now will become 10. 10 minus 5 will give us 5. 9 minus 7 is 2, and 4 minus 3 is 1. Then finally bring down 2. So meaning, 2,125 is the cost or new cost of DAL after the discount. So this is the new price of the Barbie DAL. After, of course, the 15% discount. Okay, let's go now to the last problem. Okay, the first 10 persons who will purchase a television that originally cost 19,999 pesos can avail a discount of 35%. Eunice was one of the 10 persons who availed the item at its sale price. Find how much she was able to save through the discount. Of course, let's start by identifying the given again. So, 19,900 pesos, this is the original price of the television. And of course, the rate of discount is 35%. Okay, to solve this, let's find what is 35% of 19,900. Of course, 35% in decimal is 0.35. So just move the decimal point twice to the left. Okay, and then now let's multiply 
19,999 by 0.35. So we have 5 times 9, that's 45. Carry up 4. 5 times 9 is 45 plus 4, that will give us 49. So carry up 4. 5 times 9 is 45 plus 4. 49 again, we'll carry up 4. 5 times 9 is 45 plus 4 is 49. So carry 4 again. 5 times 1 is 5 plus 4, we have 9. So this time, let's multiply 3. 3 by 9, so 3 times 9 is 27. Carry up 2. 3 times 9 is 27 plus 2, 29. Carry 2, so 3 times 9 again is 27, plus 2 is 29, so carry up 2 here. 3 times 9 is 27, plus 2, 29, carry 2. 3 times 1 is 3, plus 2, you have 5. So let's add the partial product. We have 5, then 9 plus 7 is 16, carry 1. 9 plus 9 is 18 plus 1. We have 19. Carry 1. So this is 19 also. Carry 1. Another 19. Carry 1. So 6. And then afterwards, indicate the same number of decimal places in our product. Same with the number of decimal places in our factors. So the answer is 6,999 pesos and 65 centavos. This is the amount of discount. That's 35% of 19,999, which is also the amount Eunice was able to save from the discount or through the discount. Okay, this, this is the amount saved. By Eunice. Okay, thank, thank you for listening. I hope you learned something. And see you next video.